Welcome back to News Watch. It's been a great Friday out there. I hope it has been for you as well. We're almost at the weekend. We can see those temperatures in the low to mid 70s right now across our viewing area, so it's still a little bit warm for the six o'clock hour. And for the rest of tonight, we'll see those scattered showers and storms continue through the evening. Late tonight, those things are going to calm down before more lingering showers possible early in the morning tomorrow. And then for the weekend, we're going to see more showers and storms through the afternoons. Those temperatures are going to be in the low 80s with those overnight lows in the mid 60s. On that radar right now, we can see some scattered showers and storms still across much of the area. Plenty of areas in those orange and red colors that's depicting the heaviest amount of rainfall. That's where those downpours are. And those downpours are what lead to those flash flooding issues. We can see to our southwest, we still have more scattered showers that are making their way toward our area slowly but surely. And they are going to be here through the evening tonight. We can see that flood watch still in effect for the western counties of our viewing area until 10 o'clock Sunday night. So that's through the entire weekend. That includes Pocahontas County as well. So we're going to be seeing this rainy pattern for the next several days. Those dry mornings but rainy afternoons that's going to continue through the weekend and the beginning of next week. By the end of next week, we'll see those rain chances begin to become a little bit lower and maybe we'll see some drier weather. So for that future radar, tomorrow morning is going to begin dry. We'll see some scattered showers fill in for those afternoon hours. They're going to become heavy at times with some downpours. And then that's going to calm down for the overnight hours. And a similar story for your Sunday going to start out dry. And those showers are going to fill in through the afternoon. We could see plenty more rainfall across the area over the weekend, especially in those western counties. We can see the two to five inches, those areas in the red being who can get the heaviest amount of rainfall. But the western counties could see between two and five inches of rain over the next several days. And those eastern counties could see a little bit less between one to two inches. So because of that rainfall, flash flooding remains a concern. We've already seen those wet conditions for a bunch of the past several days so that rain that falls just has nowhere to go for tonight we're under that level two flood threat for the entire viewing area and then tomorrow morning that's going to drop down to a level one flood threat but that flood threat remains for the entire area and then again for sunday the flood threat will continue with a level one flood threat for our entire viewing area so flooding is going to be a concern throughout the entire weekend over the next seven days, we're going to continue to see that pattern of those dry mornings and rainy afternoons. Scattered showers are going to fill in through the afternoons, through the weekend. Those temperatures for the weekend are going to be in the low 80s. For the start of next week, we're going to continue to see more scattered showers and storms, mainly in the afternoons. Those temperatures are still going to be in the low 80s. Then for the middle of the week next week, we're going to see those temperatures cool down a little bit in the upper 70s with some Chances of rain still there, a little bit lower than what we're seeing now, but the chance of rain could still be there. Then for Friday, we're going to see some cooler temperatures, mid 70s for a high. It's going to be very pleasant with just a small chance for some isolated showers. Those overnight lows are going to be in the mid 60s and we're going to see that cool down into the low 60s by the end of next week. We'll have more news after the break.